All right, so we decided to bail on our fourplex that we've been building in Idaho since 2021, right? Like it's been a year and a half. It's been August is when we went under contract for this thing. And this builder is building a bunch of them in a little community, like 12 or 13. And, and so we just decided to snag one. But there's multiple reasons why we decided to bail and why the builder was being kind of ridiculous in this situation. So this project was supposed to be complete in December of 21. Uh, after pushing it back so many times, finally in October when I was in Idaho, uh, me and my wife decided to just go drive by and look at it and see the progress because we were supposed to close mid-October. It was like October 14th. And we drove by. First of all, we didn't even recognize the property. They completely changed the whole structure, the material that they were using, the whole floor plan and layouts of these units were completely different, okay, than what we were told. So what was supposed to be a pretty cool looking modern fourplex uh, ended up looking like the most basic square box of life. And the units were still two bedroom, one bath, just shy of a thousand square feet, but it didn't look anything like all the renderings that we were sent of what it was supposed to, the list of materials used were changed up because of the builder's budget. That's not my fault. I was when I went under contract for six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars for this fourplex, and my interest rate was supposed to be a three point one if I were to close in December of uh, twenty-one. Um, and so they kept pushing it back. Uh, he finally said, "Okay, it's going to be ready." Like the last week of October for us to close. And I said, okay, with my crazy work schedule, I won't be able to come do a final walkthrough until uh, like the first week in November. And the agent threw a fit about it. I thought that was a ridiculous thing to ask when they've made me wait almost a year and a half for this project. And I say, hey, can I come next week instead? Cause I want to do a walkthrough before buying it. So that kind of like threw me off. The agent didn't really care that I wasn't updated and kept in the loop on all the changes that happened to the property. And then on top of that, when you do the math, so as interest rates go up, then so does closing costs. And so not only were we supposed to bring 25% uh, down to the table, uh, which is like 160 something thousand, but my closing costs were $18,000 higher than they would have been if the builder was done on time uh, in 2021 in December, like he had said. Also with that, the market in Idaho had dropped 20% in this area, right? 20% and he wasn't willing to budge on his price. And then uh, when my interest rate was supposed to be a 3.1, now my lender told me that I was locked in at a 7.65. I mean, that hurts. What was supposed to be an okay deal, right? It wasn't the best deal for 675. These units are going to rent for like anywhere between $1,000 and $1,200 per unit. Uh, probably close to $1,100 if we're being honest or closer to $1,000 because people, you know, management companies always shoot high. And, and so it wasn't the greatest deal, but it was something and I needed to get rid of my cash and it was going to cash flow. And now this sucker is going to negative cash flow like $1,500 a month at the minimum. Right. This is assuming nothing breaks or goes wrong uh, with the tenants. And so I took, I was taking on all of these massive hits and the builder did not care at all. And so I'm, you know, and I approached the agent and my agent was terrible. So who knows if the builder is cool to work with because I never talked with him. But my agent that was supposed to be representing me, which was just the agent of the project in Idaho. My normal agent in Utah isn't licensed in Idaho. So I just went through with the guy uh, that I was kind of given. And this guy is terrible, didn't even care, treated me like crap, acted like every question was a dumb question. Like, this isn't my first property. I've bought in a few properties before. And uh, I wanted to make sure things were being done right. He wanted me to close before they had a certificate of occupancy, before the property was even complete. Uh, hey, as long as the inside is done, it's livable, we'll finish the outside later on. I mean, there is not even concrete up to the doorsteps, like a little walkway, it's just dirt when me and my wife showed up and they were ready for us to close. Like this was a complete joke, complete crap show that went on. So at the end of the day, me and my wife were like, you know what, for such a negative cash flow, I don't want to hold on to this thing and wait to refinance 
till the market uh, kind of comes down a little bit and the interest rates come down a little bit. And we're buying this property for extremely overvalued. So we decided to bail, you know, that that's the story. Crazy experience. Uh, they, they weren't going to give us our earnest money back, but I was pretty blunt with the guy. So he did give it back finally. So we didn't come out like losing anything in this situation other than waiting a year and a half for something that we were somewhat excited for. But, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, can't let emotion get into, uh, your investment decisions. So we decided to bail. Now we're trying to figure out what to do next.